Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, the Azimio leadership was in Naro County for prayer service and thanksgiving. And after that event, the entire team proceeded for Meet the People tour of Naro County. And on their way, Raina Odinga and the entire team were blocked by police using a lorry. And they had no option but to stop. So Raila was forced to go now and confront the police officers so that they can explain to him the reason why they are blocking his convoy and the entire team from proceeding with their journey. Then from there, it is when now police allowed the Azmio to continue with their event. The tour was successful but disrupted by police who <laughs> attempted blocking. The Up to now, I don't understand why the police were really blocking the road. Imagine it is a highway where everyone is using the road, but you are blocking it so that no vehicle is coming and no vehicle is going. But after they cleared the way, the Azimio team proceeded with the Meet the People tour of Narok County, and this is how the event went. <laughs> Now, Kenya is a democratic country and everyone has a freedom of association as long as we are not disrupting other people's peace you have your own right. So the question we are asking on this part line why was police officers blocking as the mere leaders from proceeding with their journey in narrow county? That is what we want to try and answer. But before we go deep into that, just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our returning subscribers, I'm asking, thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, there are some leaders in this country for police officers to take such kind of instructions. They have to get order from above. And that above is not Kome. It is someone above Kome. It can only be Gashagwa or William Samway stop as near from the activity, waste their time. It is a sign of a failure. Ruto has failed to challenge Azimio leadership politically. So the only tool that is want to use 
his police officers to now start intimidating his opponents. This is how low he can go. He can what wengi wamekata ruto. Sasa ile kitu imebaki ni kutumia nguvu. Yule mtu watu wamependa kwa hii Kenya ni watu wa azimio. Sasa inaonekana kwa sababu watu wampendi ile nje imebaki tu yeye sasa ni kufanya nini? Disrupt azimio activities. Hawa jamaa walikuwa mara tu for prayer service and thanksgiving. Huko wakaenda kufungua pia nyumba nyingine huko Narok. Sasa vita ni ya nini? Wakienda kutana na wananchi na tunaona Ruto kila siku yuko campaign. This is dictatorship in the making. Ruto want to dictate what opposition should do, when and how. And this should never happen. Police should not be ready to be used in this way. Because then this one is going to attract other reactions that is going to limit even some individuals in this country to specific region. I want to tell you Come in your new norm that is now emerging using police to stop political activity. He at a CEO mandamano. Sasa ikio mandamano kutakuwa na munagani. It was just a peaceful tour meet the people. Hata hawa polisa wako wanajua azimio wanaenda wapi. Because the main event had already been finished. Mambo ya maombi na nini ilikuwa imeisha yote. Hawajui azimio wanaenda wapi. But because someone has some intelligence ameambia the top huko. Na hawa wana tembeza habari kuchuna nabia polisi. Block hawa jama. Tunajua wanaenda huko. Tunajua. So, Ruto is trying to stop azimio from engaging with the people politically na natumia police kufana hiyo mambo that's the only thing i'm seeing here otherwise kwani kulikuwa na nini kubwa hii yenye azimio walikuwa wanaenda kufana walikuwa wanaenda kupiga watu walikuwa wanaenda kubomoa nyumba ya mtu walikuwa wanaenda kuchoma what is this i don't understand na watu wengi wanasema ya kwamba this is now the emerging of dictatorship. You start like this, alafu unazoea. Kisha kuwa mazoea inakuwa the new norm. Ulipewa constitution, ukapewa sword. So you put the constitution aside, you decided that you will start using the sword. I don't know when you will use the constitution because you have to use the constitution until enemies invade the country that's when unachomoa sword na unaanza kutumia hiyo sword hatujafikia hapo hatujafikia hapo lakini yeye alianza na hiyo sasa wanataka wazuie watu wazimie wasiongee na wananchi wakuwe ndio hao wako na nafasi ya kwenda kuambia wananchi uongo ukora na hakuna mtu mwenye atakuja ambia wananchi hii ilikuwa uongo na ukora that is it Otherwise, how do you just block Raila Odinga and his team? Hiyo ni madhara kubwa. Raila was the former prime minister. He is now leading one of the biggest coalition in this country and the second largest political party in Kenya. You can't treat him to this level. It should not happen. But they are allowing it to happen. Sasa wakati kama Azimio itasema sasa wanataka kupanda juu ya magari, waanze campaign kama ile ya Kenya kwanza. Kutakuwa na mna gani? Hao wake campaign it just okay. Wengine they cannot campaign. This must stop.